build parts, and then we'll do it ourselves. Sure, this is a NASA-funded project, and our company, Systems and Materials Research Corporation. Uh, NASA recently started their uh, programs on uh, sending astronauts to Mars, and this is part of that. They want to do some risk assessment of what astronauts will eat when they go to Mars, which takes about five plus years. And uh, one method is uh, convert everything into powder form and uh, uh, the state where the powders can long very last. And, and we use those powders to make uh, uh, viscous slurries of, the, of food, which you can see in these cartridges. And then we design our code, we design the recipes, and according to that, um, it prints actual food. So here, today we are printing pizza. It's just one example, but we can print so many different things. We have by far printed uh, icing, chocolate, uh, different shapes. You know, you can see some of them over there. Uh, there is a wheel, the ship wheel uh, that we have printed. We have printed South by Southwest logo. We have printed NASA logo. Uh, uh, this project has been out there just for f five, about five months. Um, we call this our beta prototype, and we are looking for a higher level funding to expand this project into a more commercial uh, and uh, usable. Uh, product. We'll be seeking phase two funding. We'll have a much bigger system. Instead of uh, right now, it has potential to print three different ingredients. It will have probably eight to ten different ingredients, you know, which accounts for about uh, almost everything that we that we eat. Uh, and. Uh, we will be adding some uh, micronutrients or vitamins capacity uh, to be printed. So um, the idea is that astronauts don't need to take any vitamins, pills or anything, but it, it just uh, comes with the food. What is unique about this is it's, uh, it's uh, uh, using open source platform. Uh, we have uh, used the hardware for the RapRap project. And this is a Prusa Mendel, uh, which anybody can build uh, from uh, information available on Wikipedia. Uh, we have taken the code and modified it to uh, print food. A couple of other research labs and uh, places they print food. Um, one of the most prominent one is TNO Research uh, from Netherlands. The other one is uh, uh, Cornell Creative Machines Lab. Uh, so, I would say we are, we are one of the pioneers uh, to build 3D food printer.